Audubon is probably better known as a naturalist who created the compilation known as Birds of America. In fact, he did this picture when he was in Edinburgh, Scotland. Audubon had to support himself. And so he painted things like this, which in the 19th century were called pot boilers. And the reason they're called pot boilers is because they're made to appeal to the urban society that was taken by Audubon, um, and they helped to pay for his rent, his food, and the actual costs of printing his Birds of America series. This particular painting was commissioned by Lazars, who was his agent in Edinburgh at the time, and it came out of the two walking through the streets of Edinburgh and encountering two feral cats fighting over uh, a dead squirrel. And Lazars said to Audubon, this is a great topic, I would love to have a painting of it. And of course, Audubon, you know, needing to pay the rent, said, sure thing. What you'll see in the painting is a wonderful example of the way in which darkness creates a sense of fear and terror. What Audubon decides to do is to situate the picture in a nighttime landscape with this really kind of dark, very dramatic sky and this ominous moon rising up and creating these reflections. And the cats themselves are not illuminated by the moon, but instead are illuminated from the front so that we can pick out all the different elements and aspects to underscore the horrific, rough, fight that's going on with these two cats. And if you look really, really closely, you can see very specific details of the teeth, fur flying. You can also see that he's using red in certain places to, again, underscore um, the roughness and scariness and ferociousness of these cats. And then when you see the thing that they're fighting over, which is the squirrel, you can see the wound where its belly has been ripped open. Now, this particular painting is a mixture of different styles. With oil painting, he actually picked that up from a series of people, one of which was Thomas Cole, whose series, uh, The Voyage of Life, is actually upstairs uh, on the second floor of the Munson Williams Proctor. What he got from, uh, from Cole is this dramatic use of light. If you go upstairs and you look at the last scene of The Voyage of Life, you'll see the way in which uh, Cole uses is this dark sky to create a sense of the sublime and the scary. And when I say sublime, what they thought of the sublime in the 19th century was this idea of a, a kind of roller coaster feeling. You're terrified and then at the end of it, you're safe. While we see this painterly or artistic approach uh, to oil painting, there's also the naturalist aspect to the picture. What Audubon did with all of his animal studies and all of his bird studies is that he created them to scale. So these two cats are actually the size of the feral cats uh, that he encountered. What Audubon would do, and this is what all naturalists did in, in the 1800s, uh, is that he took a kind of graph paper and he would arrange the dead bodies of the animals according to the fight that he wanted to create, and then he would wire them together. And from that, he would paint the scene. And he said he stayed up and it took him about 10 hours. Some people think that that's because the scent of the cats uh, may have gotten to him if he had allowed them to be there a little bit longer. So what we see in the picture is Audubon knowing about the artistic trends uh, in American art and then applying them and using a technique of naturalists uh, in that time period to create this unique vision of two terrifying cats fighting over the body of a squirrel.